Today's identity statement is, I am Christ's friend. John 15, 15 says, No longer do I call you servants, for the servant does not know what his master is doing, but I have called you friends, for that all I have heard from my father, I have made known to you. Now think back to a time growing up when you were at one of your friend's house that was a really good friend of yours and their mom or dad would treat you in the exact same way that they would treat their own kid, your friend. They might invite you to stay for dinner or pay for your movie ticket or make a bed for you if you needed a place to stay. They might even offer you refrigerator rights. That means that you're welcome to open the fridge and find something to eat without even having to ask to open it. Now that's a different type of friendship than when you step into a stranger's house or someone's home you don't know too well where you feel like you can't really be yourself, you're afraid that you might break something, you're afraid that you might eat something you're not supposed to or mess up some unwritten code of how you're supposed to act. In today's verse though, Jesus acknowledges that he as the son of God and as the king of kings, he calls us his friends. He gives us access to his father and even shares all the things that he's heard from his father to, with us and makes them known to us. Not only to us as ones who serve and sacrifice for our king and not only as sons and daughters of the living God, but also as his friends. Friends who are treated in the same way as when you're invited to a friend's house and their parent treats you the same way as if you're their own child. Would you remember today's identity statement that you and I, are Christ's friends. Would you pray with me? Lord Jesus, thank you that you call us your friends, you as King, you as Lord, and you invite us to call you friends. You've called us your friends. So would you remind us the access we have to you as our friend and the access you've given us to your Father? Would you open our ears to things that you've heard from your Father and that we would receive them and live by them today? And we pray this in your name. Amen.